Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I'm live from Vegas here with this video, so I actually took the less expensive mic because I didn't want to take the expensive microphone over there, so if the audio sounds a little weak, I'm so sorry for that. I apologize. Everything will be back to normal on Monday when I return home. But Universal invited some press and media to go check out some aspects of Super Nintendo World, and I definitely had to cover it. This is from a good friend, Mr. Robert Niles at Theme Park Insider. He's been on the channel before. He also got a nice sneak peek of Super Nintendo World, starting off with these awesome binocular, binoculars. Yes, these are the AR binoculars. They'll be located on the second level. We can see throughout the land, as you can see, they're pretty decently, pretty big. And we're going to do obviously augmented reality over different aspects of the first floor of the land so very exciting for that but the thing that most of this tour got was a tour uh, or the most of the press got was a tour of the Mario Kart queue the Mario Kart queue was just about done and ready to go and it's something that none of us have seen before at least here in Hollywood and you can't see it from the upper level or lower level you have to be inside it, so these are some great, great pictures and photos of the queue. No photo, photos or video of the ride itself were published, but we got some nice few photos of the queue for this nice quick update inside the Mario Kart queue. Got these massive books here, which I'm sure are Easter eggs. These are from Mario games or Nintendo games. I'm not the biggest Nintendo guy, so I'm not sure if I can uh, put these books or titles of the books maybe Easter eggs too but if so if you know any of these comment down below because I definitely know there are lots of Easter eggs hidden and particularly in a book later on in the video here. Now we're joining further furthering on into the queue we see these massive castle doors and two lines which is one which will be the express sign I'm presuming and one is the standby queue. Moving on into the next room, looks looks very colorful, almost looks like this workshop area. Um, just kind of, almost looks like it reminds me of the boiler room, Tower of Terror. Um, but yeah, it looks very highly detailed. I'm so glad Universal is continuing with amazing cubes, um, highly detailed cubes. This looks just as good as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter's cube, if not better, because this cube, the actual queue doesn't have, shouldn't have an outdoor section, unlike the Wizarding World of Harry Potter or Forbidden Journey, which does. That permanent queue has an outdoor section as well. That's not extended queue in the garden area. But this, uh, yeah, looks absolutely gorgeous. And as we move on further into this room, we can see even more details, such as this. That's right. You can see Bowser working on something. You see his big binoculars, or big telescope there. Uh, lots of books he's doing and Bowser is doing a lot of reading uh you know he's very knowledgeable he's, he's like a little ghosty up to the top right corner over there but and you can see he's working on something uh has blueprints uh for what is that the bomb bomb arm or i think yeah i think it is blueprints for the bomb arm bomb arm i think that's what it's called over there and looks like he's creating these things as a an obstacle to get you when you're uh, going ahead and racing with him and he's gonna challenge you to a race this whole land does have a story which we'll get into right here in a second and yeah you have to go ba basically say princess peach so the story goes that bowser stole one of princess peach's golden mushrooms and we have to get it back and that's what the interactive challenges in the land coincide to as well you need those four golden keys to eventually bowser battle uh battle bowser jr to get princess peach's golden mushroom back I'm not sure if the mario kart attraction factors into that or if it's separate into that story but i feel like maybe you win the golden mushroom if you beat bowser in the mario kart challenge uh which would make sense in, to the overall land's storyline if you have a power band, the scores from the Mario Kart uh, attraction will go right to your power band, and there'll be actually leaderboards throughout the land uh, saying who's on top, who's on, who's who's beating who has the most points, uh, and they'll sync up to your app and the power band and the land and your Nintendo Switch, and you'll get to see the leaderboards if you're winning, if you have a lot of points, 
and all your coins go to, of course, your Nintendo Switch account. You can go use them inside the Mario games. This room right here is one of the last rooms before you enter the ride. This is the, uh, the race room. You're going to be on Mario Kart TV, sponsored by Bowser Oil, it seems like. And you're, this is, your character is getting ready to dress up and they're put their suits on, ready to go. And then in a couple rooms after this, you'll be heading on down to the actual ride station, which would be great. And then you can experience the one of the coolest rides in the whole resort. So what do you think of this quick sneak peek of some of the indoor shots of the Mario Kart Q? Thank you to Robert Niles and Universal for inviting the BD out to get these cool first look photos out there. So I'm going to leave the whole theme park insider article in the description below. If you want to go read it, definitely check it out. Um, he has great, great stuff, of course, on this uh, project, but uh, all projects across the country and world as well. So definitely check out Theme Park Insider. He's been on the channel. I'll try to get him on again. He's so cool and very knowledgeable to talk to. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Mario Kart Bowser Challenge Q and uh, Super Nintendo World in general? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more Theme Park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.